On my right, if you don't mind, can you come forward and say a few words for all of us here? Thank you, Megan. Oh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Great to be back with you folks. I told Annie I would be here, but I had another engagement. To, uh, and I was late. And I got a parking spot. <laughs> David, uh, you were there, you were marked, and everybody was marked. But anyway, somebody moved out, and I moved in. <laughs> anyway, uh, just great. Uh, you know, I've been working with Annie on uh, a number of projects. Uh, she is so concerned about people, and, and especially seniors. Uh, she's looking for new ideas uh, as to how to improve the service to make sure that they are well cared for. And she has a record second to none in that regard, I can tell you, as David knows and Luce. I mean, she just, she just knows how to do it. Uh, you know, I'm working, um, I've been engaged by Rivera Retirement and Long-Term Care Company. Uh, I have a very, very major title. It's called the CEO. <laughs> now, wait till I tell you what that means. <laughs> Chief Elder Officer. <laughs> when I say I'm CEO, people say, oh, it's a Chief Elder Officer. But I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I visit uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, I visit two homes, one in Cambridge and uh, one in Stony Creek, and talk to the residents and uh, find out uh, uh, how their service can be improved. Uh, they feel that maybe they, the residents be freer to talk to me than one of their staff. So, And, and uh, working with the staff, it's a large corporation from the United States. And they're just great. And, uh, but their service, is no better than any living service here, I can tell them. But you know, people that work for a place, a uh, retirement home, are very special people. There's no question about it. They really care about people. And I'm often talking to the staff of Rivera and, uh, and encouraging them to make sure that they give that little, yeah, uh, ray of sunshine as they meet the residents and such. So we're at the end of another year. It uh, doesn't look good for the economy, but uh, we're still looking after the seniors okay. And secondly, uh, we're receiving uh, some Assyrian refugees. They came into the airport last night, some that are sponsored by families. We are so blessed in this country. You know? I'll tell you, we're so lucky. I'm sure you all feel that as seniors, especially. I mean, you know, it, uh, some of those people that landed last night, they said they left hell and they, found, and, and they entered heaven. That's exactly what they said. Hell to heaven. That's from their country and the Canada. That explains it well. And so I want to wish you all a very, very, very Christmas. Last night I was at the... Uh, Iceland Arena, uh, Toys for, ki for Kids, uh, sponsored by Peel Regional Police and the Lauren Park, uh, Lauren Park uh, Hockey Association. And by the way, uh, I went there, never came, who should, should show up but Don Cherry. He was there. That uh, uh, was a complete surprise. So uh, there are no kid in Mississauga, in my opinion, who will go without a toy because uh, they just got hundreds and hundreds last night, and Canadian tires, collecting them at all their stores, etc. So I think the kids will have more than one toy. It could be they'll have two or three because of the response that is so outstanding. And so uh, I want to wish you all a very, very happy uh, Christmas season and uh, a happy New Year because it's only a week later and we can enter into 2016. Uh, according to the weather prediction, I, I'm not a weather I don't predict the weather. We're going to have weather like this till January the 15th. Isn't that something? That's what they predict. And uh, I like that. I like that.
anyway, great to be with you, and uh, we should all take the moment to say thank you to Annie for the tender, loving care that she gives to all of us.